no, 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 no. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so this is my first time leaving a single player review, kind of first impression. Uh, but I want to do this for every game that I play from here on out. I want to give you guys my takes on the games. First and foremost, I would like to inform everybody that for me as a gamer, one thing is very important and that's gameplay over anything else. I don't like the drama, the controversy, the DEI. Oh my God, we need more lesbian uh, female characters. We need more of this race. We need, I don't care about any of that. When I was a little kid, sorry, a, a, a little short story. I first picked up a controller and I didn't think about what character was I playing on the other side. I wanted to jump uh, through this obstacle to get to the princess, to save my princess. And that is always going to be front and center for me in video games, is gameplay. You're not going to hear me talk about diversity or any of that stuff. I am here for the gameplay first and foremost and games should be about how they feel to us and and from a gameplay perspective i'm just saying you're not going to get that from me so if you're hoping for that sort of review you're not going to get it i'm going to give you the hard truths gameplay how it feels how the graphics work with this how the platforming works here how the puzzles how the boss fights work and with that being said let's get right into it okay as per tradition, I'm gonna give you guys the TLDR. So far, Wukong for me is a 9.5 out of 10. You can stop watching the video here if that's all you wanted to hear, but continue to um, listen to the rest if you wanna hear me ramble on about what I think the game does really well and what I think it could do a little bit um, better at. So 9.5 is a pretty big number for me, especially for a single player game. Um, I don't get impressed easily, but I'm gonna tell you right now, if there was anybody out there trying to compare this game to Elden Ring, cause uh, come on, let's get the elephant out of the room. Um, <clears throat> or let's, you know, talk about the elephant in the room. Elden Ring and the Souls games will be compared to this game to the end of time. And I really, I guess it's a true testament of how good those games are, but this game is nothing like those games. If anything, I somebody in my stream told me, this is more like Ninja Gaiden, and I kind of agree in a way. A little less mob density, but it's kind of like Ninja Gaiden. If you've ever played those games in the past, this is like that, maybe not as difficult yet as those games, but that is a good comparison, I think. There's boss battles, there's like a little um, mob encounters. There is this intricacy of going to the left to pick up this other chest. There's puzzles hidden here and there. It's very linear in the way where those games were linear. Let's, let's speak of the linear, because that's, uh, some people, I've heard some reviews say that the game is too linear and that's why they don't like it. I personally like that. I like that there is, that it is linear. I don't want to be dropped off in an open world and have to make up my mind on what to do. Like, I, I, I kind of want a little bit of hand holding. And this game does a, a very good job at that, where it doesn't really hold your hand closely but it kind of has this narrative this brand this road that you follow but you can deviate from it as well uh, as soon as you get through a couple of chapters you'll be able to go back teleport back go this do that find out things that you might have missed there's a lot of boss battles here people say that there's over 80 boss battles and not all of them are attached to the linear story progression which i really really enjoy um it's really great uh boss battles are some of the more creative boss battles i have encountered sure i'm not that far in yet i'm still at chapter three and there's still a lot to go through but so far this is my first impression of the game is doing a lot of things so good 
audio design with the little chimes and bells and things that you listen to when you open a chest, when you absorb one of these monsters that you killed in an open field uh, with their Pokemon-like mechanics. Gotta catch them all. It, it just feels good. The sound design is amazing. The music they have in the game is really, really good. Um, voice acting. So far, I'm in Chinese um, voice acting. I don't know about the English um, dub. If you guys have experienced it that way, leave your comments below. Is it good? Is it bad? I don't know. I'm listening through Chinese, and um, the Chinese voiceovers are amazing. Even though I don't understand anything, but the way they deliver their lines are really, really good. Chris audio, I cannot complain. And audio is very important for me in a video game, and this game does a really good job there. Graphics, oh my god. When you turn the corner and the light is hitting you, the reflections off the water, the boss is doing their um, mechanics with all the particle effects going on, it looks looks really good um uh story wise i'm sorry but i'm not going to be able to give you guys that much on the whole story thing uh, first of all i'm not even done with the story i'm not done with the game um so far the way it's been presented has been cinematic if i can describe it in one word cinematic the way the cutscenes start off right from the very beginning i'm trying to avoid spoilers as well but the way it starts off at the very beginning is just like go 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 the cinematic experience the way the story is being given to you is really really well put together um yeah i mean let's talk about the the very few negatives that i have about the game optimization i know it's probably a big one for a lot of people um i am fortunate that i do have a very good computer and even on my computer i'm still struggling to run this game you know what i have to do to play this game i have to put it in power saving mode yes i downloaded the latest drivers yes i know that intel has an issue with the game but this is not only my problem there's a lot of people having complaints about optimization and being able to even log in fps dips here and there sure i'll give i'll do a little bit of leniency a little give them a little um you know i cut them a little slack um because i know my intel cpu has issues with other games but i've never had to turn down my po my power options in any video game ever but to, in order for me to run this game i have to put power saving mode here's a little tip for anybody out there who is also struggling to play this game try putting in power saving mode which comes at a drawback because i feel like that is making my fps dip in some moments um, but I shouldn't have to do none of this though. I feel like I shouldn't have to do this and other people either, by the way, but there's a, there's a handful of YouTube videos out there telling you how to optimize this game for more FPS. I think that's an issue. I don't, I don't like that. That's an issue. I don't like that. People have to consciously be aware of like, oh my God, FPS this. Oh my God. How do I run this? How do I do this? How do I even get the game from stop crashing? Because it does do that. It is a big problem for a lot of people. Um, but for me, that is what's keeping the game from a solid 10 so far, is that I did run into um, optimization issues in the beginning, and I'm still experiencing them here and there. Um, and I know that some of it is because of my CPU, um, but I know that is also a game problem, because it's not only me. It's other people experiencing the same issues. Um, aside from that, I don't really have a lot of like complaints maybe um <laughs> the if i can like pull out of my my ass here another negative thing i can say is maybe some of the textures are a little bland at times but i mean when the rest of the world looks that beautiful i mean there's going to be like something in contrast it could just be that the i don't know the textures didn't load up yet for me I don't know, but a 9.5 is solid. I'm not going to try to find other negative things to say. My first impression on the video game is solid. Black Myth Wukong is amazing. And I, I am here to celebrate another developer, a Chinese developer. First big triple A game is, is amazing. I'm really happy for, um, for the development team and uh, and it's paying off, dude. They have like over 2 million people logged into the game. It's incredible, dude. They beat all kinds of expectations, uh, certainly my expectations of the game. I went in there thinking, oh my God, I'm hype. I've been waiting for this game for a long time, but I was not expecting this level of quality. 
it's really 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 good uh their menus their ui the way they they incorporate leveling up and getting skills is just so brain dead but satisfying at the same time that even somebody like me who doesn't like to read stuff it just became so easy so intuitive it, it is really good their menus their ui everything is really well done i can't say anything more about the game i definitely do think it's a must try at least for first impressions um and hopefully the game doesn't disappoint me in the um in the long run but so far right now with about 20 ish hours devoted into the game i know it's not a lot i give this game a 9.5 we will be having another review when I finish the game to give you my full assessment of everything. So yeah, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Yeah. Okay, was that good chat? Good one take? Hey you. Going somewhere? Well, before you go somewhere, how about you hit that follow button, comment, like, and subscribe. Do yourself a solid. Help a girl out. <laughs> okay that was major cringe just hit the follow button subscribe or something thank you i really appreciate it bye